obviously I have a passion for public service and that's the way I approach it. Uh, I'm probably not the glitziest person on, on the planet here, but you know, what you see is what you get. Her no glitz, all grassroots approach helped Republican incumbent Candace Miller define herself long before going to Washington. Now she's hoping voters will return her for a fifth congressional term. Uh, the American people, uh, many who perhaps were not paying so much attention previously, certainly are now because of the out of control federal spending uh, that we have seen, uh, the rising deficit. It's uh, a concern just generally that the uh, country is off track, uh, not only in the state of Michigan, but certainly nationally, that uh, our country is off track. And uh, people want uh, to make sure that government starts trying to live within its means and uh, that we stop some of these uh, federal programs. I think they have watched uh, as the Congress has voted on uh, various uh, issues like the economic stimulus, uh, the cap and trade issue, uh, certainly the health care issue as well. Uh, these are really sort of the marquee votes uh, from this last Congress uh, in this administration, uh, all of which I voted against. Miller's seat is being challenged by a political newcomer, Henry Yanis, a Sterling Heights firefighter who thinks it's time for a change. The only thing I can tell you about my opponent is that he supports uh, Nancy Pelosi for speaker, uh, and I do not. And I think people should uh, consider that. Other than that, I'm not quite sure what his uh, platform is. And, you know, I'm proud to point out that uh, I have been endorsed, actually, by the International Firefighters Association, uh, by the State Firefighters Association, as well as his uh, local uh, unit of uh, firefighters also. Miller believes there's just no substitute for experience, particularly during these critical times. For every single vote that I cast, on a spending bill, I ask myself, is it right for me to borrow 42 cents of the, every dollar that we are about to spend? And as a mother, as a now grandmother, I think about that because quite frankly, I think it is not only wrong for us to be piling all of this debt and additional debt on future generations. Quite frankly, I think the argument could be made that it is immoral. How do you defend what was going on prior to this administration? I think. Did you, did you vote against some of those Republican spending bills? I think uh, I often say this: Republicans lost majority because we lost our way, uh, and that certainly is the case with uh, some spending. However, what has happened in this last two years? is beyond, beyond what anybody could have imagined. Our, our deficit, our federal deficit, has actually increased by 25% in just short of two years. And it's easy to see why. You look at the economic stimulus that was about $800 billion. I mean, I think more people think Elvis is alive than think the economic stimulus actually worked. Long an advocate for the Great Lakes, Miller's taking a leadership role, identifying, pursuing, and questioning Enbridge, the Canadian oil company, discovering that their very same pipeline that erupted in Marshall has many other weak spots. As we then began to investigate the entire pipeline system there, we see that their pipeline that comes from Sarnia, Canada, under the uh, St. Clair River, enters into the U.S. side uh, by Marysville, had a dent in it. And when we first started investigating, uh, Enbridge said, well, they're going to try to get to it in about two or three years. And I'm pleased to say, because of the investigations uh, that we have done and the issues that we have raised, Enbridge has now agreed to, at 100% of their own cost, completely replace the section of pipe under the St. Clair River. They've told me that they will be starting after the first of the year and they hope to be done by the summer of next year. So um, I take that as a uh, huge win. She loves working in Washington, but Michigan is home. I take this job very seriously. Uh, I don't live in Washington. I work in Washington, but as soon as we are done voting, I am on the first airplane home because I live in Michigan. I love Michigan. For Democracy 2010, Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News. All right.